I just gotta make sure that I got everything in order for my kids. You know, that's like the main important thing for me, just to make sure, like, if anything was to happen to me, if I was to drop dead today, like, my family, they can bury me. My kids gonna be set. My kids gonna be straight. My family gonna be straight. I just wish I would have known like what I know today like a lot sooner like I would have started Davis accounts with the kids I would have made sure that I had everything together <laughs> welcome or welcome back to another vlog so in this vlog it's gonna be all about my maintenance just getting myself together getting my hair together nails lashes holes all of that like i pretty much done went a whole month it's it's been like almost probably two months since i've done like maintenance and that's because I've been budgeting. So I'm gonna be taking y'all with me for the next couple days. But yeah, so today's Tuesday. Tomorrow I'm gonna be taking down my quick weave and getting getting my hair prepared to get my hair done on Thursday. Cause Thursday morning I have a hair appointment. And then after my hair appointment, I'm gonna go get my toes done. I did get a new outfit too. So I'm gonna show y'all my new outfit. I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. I end up spending like about, y'all ignore my nails. If y'all can see them, ignore my nails. But I ended up spending like probably a good four hundred, five hundred dollars, y'all. Ain't gonna lie on my maintenance. If y'all been keeping up with my my cash stuff in videos, y'all probably didn't get to see me stuff all of the money because when I got paid yesterday, I went ahead and took out the remainder of the money that I was going to stuff in my self love binder and just kept it in my bank account. It was really no point in withdrawing it. Um, because a lot of the stuff that I wanted was online. Like, I bought a new outfit online. The stuff on Amazon was online, obviously. Um, the only money that I have to withdraw from the bank is, like, for my toes. Um, I don't even have to take out the money for my hair because I'm gonna just cash app her. And then I bought my hair online. Like, everything was mainly online. So, I didn't really get to show, like, the cash stuffing for that. I did show, like when I first started saving up for it. But yeah, a good $400, $500 for maintenance. That is what this vlog is gonna be about. So come with me as I get my maintenance. And yeah, I will probably see y'all again when I'm getting my hair done. taking out the money to first of all do my cash stuffing video but i also need to like seriously stuff my cash wallet so i need to stuff my cash wallet so i can have all the money that i need for this weekend today is friday so i'm gonna be doing that i'm gonna be doing i don't know if i'm gonna do the cash stuffing video in this video or if i'm gonna make it a separate video i haven't really decided on that just yet but yeah y'all got my hair done do y'all like it i love it. it came out so cute i got on my new outfit today it's so cute i just only got me one outfit but yeah so i'm just waiting on my money to come out but I wanted to talk to y'all about doing y'all maintenance. Like, I don't know why people think, well, I was one of those people. I was people. I was one of those people that used to think, like, budgeting meant, like, no shopping, no maintenance, no, you know, ramen noodle budget. But, like, honestly, I love the budgeting thing. It's keeping me, it's keeping me on track. I'm withdrawing $439 right now. If I wasn't, like, doing this budgeting thing and cash stuffing, I probably would have took this $439 and just kept shopping and just kept buying more clothes and buying whatever else I wanted with the $439. I wouldn't have probably had no money saved up, no money for the kids, no money for my emergency fund, you know. 
So it's like, yeah, I got four hundred and thirty nine dollars left after I paid all my bills. But that's not for me. That's not just to go in my pocket to do whatever I want and splurge. That's how I used to live my life. But now this four hundred thirty nine dollars is being divided up into different categories that I needed to go in in my life. How you can still do your maintenance, like when you're on a budget, all you have to do is include it in your budget. Whatever you want to do, if you want to get your hair done, your nails done, you, know, you want to buy some new makeup, just include it in your monthly budget. It only took me a few paychecks to get up $500. So I could go do my maintenance and I'm straight. I don't need nothing else for a while. You know what I'm saying? My hair, everything is done. I'm good for a while. So yeah. Hey y'all, it's like, Honestly, it's like a few days later. I'm at, well, I was supposed to be at work, but I took a mental health day because my job has been so stressful lately. I'm actually in the process of like trying to switch and get another job, but it was just too much going on yesterday at work. I had a headache. I've been having the same headache for the last two days and I'm just like overwhelmed. So I just took a mental health day to continue my maintenance because I didn't get a chance to really finish my maintenance over the weekend. We had the kids, we took them out so yeah we did all that today is tuesday i'm here at this weight loss clinic i came here before and i did have some good results i lost a good bit of weight and i've gained like pretty much all my weight back like my double chin like i can't take it y'all i can't this is not this is not self-love this is not i don't want to lose too much weight but a good 20 pounds get me back down around 160 i'm like 180 something right now i'm about to go really figure out how much i actually weigh right now but yeah if i can get down to like 155 160 that's when i was like my happiest so so my appointment is at 12 30 i think it's already 12 30 yep it's actually 12 30 on the dot so i'm about to go ahead and pack it up and get ready to go in there after i leave from here i gotta go to the grocery store I'm going to be pretty much on a diet. I'm going to eat some chicken and some salad, veggies, but no bread, no pasta and stuff like that. So I got to go to the grocery store and pick up a couple things. I want to go run and get my car washed as well. I do have an interview tomorrow, so I need to get ready for this interview tomorrow. I'm about to go ahead and head in here, see what they're talking about, see how much I weigh. Let's get on this program. Let's get our weight back where we want it. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all inside. I'm back. I just left the car wash and the weight loss clinic. Y'all, I was so emotional inside the weight loss clinic. Like, I'm a hundred and, she said, 104 pounds. I mean, 104 pounds. 184 pounds. About 29, 30 pounds is like my goal. So, I'm on the program. I'll come back in about two weeks and follow up. But, y'all, I was so emotional in there because... She said that my blood pressure was high and I've never had high blood pressure before and it was just sad to me because I was like wow I did not know I was under that much stress and that's why I took off today because I was that stressed and so I was just like you know what it's not worth it it's not worth my life it's, it's just not worth it this job if, I, if something was to happen to me you know what this job gonna do post the ad on indeed and replace me and and say you know oh well you know what i'm saying like so i'm not about to let no job stress me out i do need to go find like some little pants for my interview tomorrow i'm excited about this interview um i am a staff accountant if you didn't know um it's not like the accounting is hard it's not the work itself it's just that the company that i work for is very unorganized and it's a struggling company um we have significant cash flow issues we really don't have any money basically like i might not even get a paycheck on monday so actually i'm not getting a paycheck on monday they're working on the shareholders are working on something to try to put funds in an account to have you know money to give us our paychecks next week 
but it's just i'm just under a lot of stress from this job so i'm looking forward to this interview i'm gonna stop at this herb shop it's a herb shop. i should have stopped at the herb shop while i was by the car wash but it's a herb shop over there that i want to go to because they have some pills some grapeseed pills about a year ago i went to the doctor and i got a mammogram which i was too young for a mammogram but lumps were found like underneath my arms and stuff so they decided to go ahead and do a mammogram so when they did the mammogram they did find like tumors on my breast on both breasts so you know i'm just battling with a lot of different things right now I'm not the type of part i'm not really like attached to life like that i'm not attached to life like i'm not like oh i don't want to die i don't want to die i know we all we all gonna leave you know at some point i just gotta make sure that i got everything in order for my kids you know that's like the main important thing for me just to make sure like if anything was to happen to me if i was to drop dead today like my family they can bury me my kids gonna be set my kids gonna be straight my family gonna be straight I just wish I would have known like what I know today like a lot sooner like I had savings accounts for the kids I would have made sure that I had everything together <laughs> I started now and that's all that matters um, my number one priority right now is like my health like getting my health together getting this weight back off me getting my blood pressure down just getting myself together I, I think I got thrown off I'm gonna go to the herb store because they have these pills that's where I was going they have these pills they, these grapeseed pills are supposed to be good for like cancer and stuff like that so I'm going to go there and get some grapeseed pills I probably just need to just relax and just stop thinking so much get prepared for the interview tomorrow <sighs> I'm gonna get off here y'all I'll probably see y'all again when I get to the house hey y'all I'm back home I'm about to chill but I wanted to show y'all what I got real quick um, I did get me some press on nails, got me some black slacks, a white little collar shirt for the interview. I'm looking for my makeup because I had my package, but I don't know where it is. Like, it was my eyeshadow. I need to find that. Oh, here it is. I got it right here. So, yeah, I got me some eyeshadow from Amazon. I'm going to be doing my makeup in the morning for work. Well, not for work. Well, I am going to work after my interview. But I'm doing my makeup really for my interview because I don't wear makeup. So, this is the um, the LA Colors new palette that I ordered. Some It's some uh, eyeshadow. So, hopefully it come out cute. Got the eyeshadow. Got the press on nails. I already have, like, some foundation and stuff that I from when I used to wear makeup. Um, the Fenty Beauty. What else did I get? Oh, yeah. Let me show. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Let me show y'all what else I got from the health food store. I got some apple cider vinegar. And I got some um, grape seed pills that I was telling y'all about. It's supposed to be good for like cancer and stuff and cancer cells. So I'm going to take those and my apple cider vinegar for my blood pressure. And then the weight loss clinic gave me, where is my pills from the weight loss clinic? The weight loss clinic gave me some of these pills called Fentermine. So it's supposed to like help suppress my appetite. I'm hoping that by the time I go back to the doctor that I lose about six pounds. So if I'm 184 right now, I'll be like 178. And that's good. Like I'll I will take it. I just want to get out of the 180s. Like I just want to get out of the 180s. But y'all, I'm about to chill. I'm about to wind down. So I will catch up with y'all more than likely in the morning. Just say you 